Short form content is everywhere and getting worse pretty much all the time. So after watching brain rot YouTube shorts the other day about chess moves I'll never remember, I figured it should actually be really easy to just automate the production process with a script, giving me an endless stream of terrible content. So first of all we'd have to figure out how to actually edit and render videos in code. Luckily there's already a Python package called MoviePie that lets us do this, so to start with something simpler I decided on making a trivia short, where the video would give you some random multi-choice question and a specific time limit to come up with an answer. I ripped some trivia thing off GitHub and then wrote a script to randomly pick one from the file and put the text onto the video. At this point I just added some random music and this is what it looked like. Anyway, at the moment it still looked kind of static, so I downloaded an hour long video of Minecraft parkour to put in the background, and had the program pick randomly from some lo-fi playlist which definitely made the short look a lot more lively. So that was pretty easy, but something I really wanted to try to make was those chess videos where someone would play a brilliant move with just thunder sound effects and loud music for absolutely no reason. Nonetheless, it seems like these shorts have gotten really popular recently and I figured it couldn't really be that difficult to pull off automatically because in theory all we had to do was draw some pieces onto a board and then animate one of them going to a different square. We could then just reuse that system for a bunch of moves in the game giving us a full chess video. We'll just rotate this for the background. So here's a game with apparently a brilliant move in it, so we'll import that. And now we just need to render what the board looks like after the move's played. To do that, we first need a list of chess moves from the game, and one of them needs to be marked as the brilliant move so that we can give it the blue classification icon. From each move in the game, you can then get something called the Fen position, which basically is just a description of the state of the board. All you have to do to render this is to look at each character, because they all either represent a piece on the board, a number of squares to go along, or a signal to move to the next rank. And then finally, you can just keyframe a piece moving to the square in the move. So now with this framework in place, I could just string together a bunch of boards to make a video out of any particular game. After you make the brilliant move, I then make the opponent accept the sacrifice and get Stockfish to play out the next couple moves of the top engine line. To finish it off I added some music again, although this time random funk, because that's the anthem of the brilliant move. So there we had it, automatic chess content. Now at the moment this is the only type of chess video that I've made, although being able to use this board framework anywhere makes it really easy to expand to other kinds of chess content. For now though, I think I'm going to leave it at this, but my terrible source code will be available for everyone so you're always free to have a crack at it yourself. To make that process a little easier, I made a small web interface for the program, so you can just put in some information and click a button to generate a video. Anyway, that was kind of a random side quest, so uh, yeah.